What's good, folks? It's your boy Z The Real here, and today I want to talk about this um this low management and the Kawhi Leonard theory. Why Kawhi Why Kawhi does what he does, and I want I also want to um cover the statements LeBron has made about low management all this time because LeBron James continues to throw jabs at Kawhi. Right, the media wants to keep making this a big deal when Kawhi has done this for like the last like four years right he's done this already this, he's not played since he's on San Antonio Kawhi Leonard has not really been playing all like 82 games like that right so that, that's the one I'm going to cover I'm going to also be doing a second video where I believe the moves the Clippers need to make now you know what I'm saying before trade deadline or by trade deadline so they can help make this roster even more complete because I feel the Clippers are not done the Clippers still need to make another move. Oh, this is bad. I'm in an accident right here. Oh, bless him. I hope everything is okay. People are like, that's why whenever y'all in a car before I continue, man, be careful, man. Watch your surroundings because you got a lot of crazy drivers that don't pay attention. But I digress. Get back to um, getting back to my point. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, I think I feel it's ridiculous that people are talking about Kawhi Leonard the way they are. The media, right? You know, uh, Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Smith. Matter of fact, for those that watched First Take uh, yesterday, Stephen A. Smith and Max Cameron got into a, a heated argument over Kawhi and LeBron, right? And I'm going to tell you, because I, you know, I watched, uh, I watched RB, RB a Breakthrough's video too, and I understand what they all saying, but I'm, I'm, for, this is the only time I'm going I'm to uh, defend Max. I normally don't be defending Max Cameron, but... Now I understand what Max is trying to say, and I'm going to basically say this now. Max is getting tired of people making excuses for LeBron. Okay? That's just what it is, man. Max understands, man. Max Kevin said it in his own mouth, I'm a Laker fan, but I announced the fact that the, uh, Kawhi Leonard is a championship winner. Kawhi is the only other person who could beat LeBron. He's true. Kawhi Leonard wins championships. Let's call it for what it is, right? And then all this about, you know what I'm saying, uh, Kawhi Leonard resting and all this other stuff. Let me let me make one thing very clear. Y'all only the media is only getting on Kawhi Leonard's head. Everybody's getting on Kawhi Leonard's head because he chose the Clippers. All right. If this man would have chose to be on the Lakers instead of the Clippers in the summertime, right in July, if he would chose to go to Lakers, or if he would have chose to go to the, um, or he would have chose to stay in Toronto, would nobody even be mentioning this at all? They have nothing negative to say about Kawhi Leonard. Because the stars, Kawhi Leonard won Toronto a championship, so Kawhi Leonard would be a feeling tired not to play all 82 games. They ain't going to need him, right? And if he was on the Lakers, man, would nobody even be talking about this? They wouldn't. If he was playing amongst LeBron AD, Kawhi Leonard would definitely not be playing all 82 games. Because the, all, the, all the media going to do is, is say is, oh, Kawhi Leonard just trying to stay healthy. They just trying to protect, uh, they just try to protect Kawhi Leonard, right? The Lakers are trying to keep Kawhi Leonard healthy so he don't get another injury. Or this is gonna be Shadow Sharp Zach words if he was on the Lakers right now. Shadow Sharp would be like, oh, Skip, we don't need uh Kawhi Leonard to play all 82 games. We just need to play the important games. We just need to play games against the Clippers, games against the Market Bucks. We, we just need to play games against the Rockets. We go we don't need them to play games against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, we don't need them to play against the Chicago Bulls. We got LeBron and AD, you know, we got Jabel McGee, we got Dwight Howard, we got enough help already. Yeah, we got Ka we got Kawhi Leonard. You know what I'm saying? He's a champion. We got our team. We don't need him to play all 82 games. Like, he can rest out as much as possible, right? That'll be Shannon Sharp's exact words. And I put that on everything I own, right? I, I, again, that's on my. I, I put that on. That's on my grandpa. Rest in peace. He'll be saying that. I clear, man. If the but Kawhi was on the Lakers, he'd be doing the exact same team. He would not be playing all 82 games, and LeBron wouldn't even be talking about him. LeBron wouldn't be mentioning Kawhi. LeBron or just say, okay, Kawhi, you know what I mean? Kawhi, you know what I'm has had a history of injury problems. We just need him to stay as healthy as possible. Like they do in Kyle Kuzma, right? Kuzma ain't playing every game like that. Kuzma been injured since the start of the season, but you don't see them talking about him, right? You know, yo, they ain't giving Kyle Kuzma low management. They ain't giving LeBron that neither. And look at Anthony Davis. They want to talk about low management, but Anthony Davis looks like he, he don't need to be playing. He needs low management too. He don't need to be playing every game like that. Because yeah, everybody talk about Kawhi Leonard being banged up badly. AD has not stayed fully healthy since his career. 
Since I've been watching like Kawhi, AD has only had two seasons where he stayed fully healthy. And those are the only two seasons where his Pelicans make the playoffs. Right? And that was two years ago. And then I think in 2016. Yeah, two, I think 2015, right? Yeah, 15 or 16 when they played. Yeah, 2015 when they played against the uh, Warriors. That The year the Warriors won the championship, right? That was the only other time when AD was staying fully healthy in a season. Other than that, AD was always had some type of injury. Whether it be his shoulders, right? His leg, you know what I'm saying? His knee, something. Something was always wrong with AD. And even now, AD is injured again. He can't play. He's going to be missing some games, right? And I'm going to tell you why LeBron is talking about Kawhi Leonard. LeBron is talking about Kawhi Leonard because LeBron is, again, like everybody else, he's, uh, LeBron is still bitter about Kawhi not joining him in July. The fact that Kawhi chose to, uh, chose to sign with the Clippers over the Lakers, he's still bitter about that. LeBron is still mad about that. Because LeBron already knows him and Kawhi Leonard have history in the finals. Kawhi Leonard has beaten him already for NBA championship. And the fact that his team didn't make the playoffs last year, right? You know, LeBron James finds Kawhi Leonard as an obstacle in his way. You know, LeBron wanted Kawhi Leonard on Lakers to make his job, make his uh, trip to the finals easier. Right? That's, that's, what, that's what LeBron James wanted. I'm telling you that now. So the simple fact that Kawhi chose to um, go to this Clipper team and not join him in AD, and the fact that LeBron can't do what he did in Miami, because that's what LeBron wanted. LeBron wanted to turn the Lakers into what he was with the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat was dominating everybody, right? One-sided lead, just running through teams, just abusing teams, right? You had Wade, Bosch, and him. That's what LeBron James wanted for the Lakers. He wanted Kawhi Leonard to be like that, to be like that, uh, that Dwayne Wade. That's what he wanted. LeBron wanted wanted um Wade wanted um because basically if LeBron, if Kawhi would have joined the um the Lakers, Kawhi would have been Wade. LeBron would be LeBron, and then um uh, uh Chris Bosh would be uh AD. That's what LeBron wanted. That's why Bosh was on um, the Lakers side. I'm telling you that now, man. They wanted that to happen. They wanted the Lakers to be like the Miami Heat. They want the Lakers to, once again, dominate the league, run through everybody, right? And have the, just the LeBron, the LeBron back into the finals the next four years in a row. That's what they want. They, they want to give LeBron almost the same type of team the Warriors had. But see, the Warriors, you know what I'm saying? The only one, the only superstar that really came over there that was really big time like that was Durant. If you look at the Warriors, most of the free agents they signed were all veterans. Guys who weren't, you know what I'm saying, like all-stars like that. They signed the David Wesses, the Zaza Pachuyas, the Jonas Jailbreakos, Omer Caspi, Swaggy P. Okay, these are not top tier guys. These guys are not, not um, top five in their positions, right? Yeah, you saw Iguodala, but Iguodala wasn't a man like that. Kevin Durant and LeBron, uh, Kevin Durant had already been passed him up already. Kevin Durant and Giannis, by the time when uh, when um, Iguodala joined the uh, the Warriors, he wasn't that top dude no more. I mean, don't worry, he was still good, but. He wasn't the, the number one on small four in the league. Okay, the Kevin Durant had already passed him up already. Right? So again, man, you y'all gotta understand that, man. The, the Warriors are signed for agents who are veterans. Durant was the only true superstar that that joined him. Right? Yeah, Boogie's a superstar, but Boogie again had injury problems. Boogie, you know what I'm saying? There was a Boogie didn't even play most of that season. So that Boogie don't count. Okay? But these excuses, oh, long management, oh, and then, and then, oh, this, it's not fair to these fans. It's not fair to the kids. Okay, I, but if for one, why would you bring the fans into us when only Kawhi Leonard knows the limits to his body? See, what the Clippers are doing right now is the Clippers got, are protecting Kawhi Leonard longevity because the Clippers don't want to have Kawhi Leonard get injured when he's in the playoffs. That's been a problem for the Clippers, right? The main reason why Lob City didn't work out that well, I'm going to be very honest, it's, not, it's, it's more than just Chris Paul not being a good leader and Blake, you know what I'm saying, being mentally not there, right, having their problems, and the team not having good chemistry, it's because of the injuries. Both Chris Paul and Blake Griffin was always injured at the wrong times that we needed the most. If you look at, go back and look at the playoff series where the Clippers played against Utah Jazz, against the Portland Trailblazers, and some of these other teams, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin were both injured. They wound up getting an injury that had them out the whole rest of these, the playoffs. So the Clippers couldn't even finish against those teams to get to the uh, to get out the second round, All right? So that's what's always plagued the Clippers against the Memphis Grizzlies. Blake Griffin wind up getting the injury that year, right? Something always goes bad between those two, and those two were the captains of the team. Blake Griffin and Chris Paul—they were captain and co-captain of that team. 
So anytime your two best starters are always out because of injuries, that should tell you something right then and there. No, Doc Rivers ain't finna have that happen with Kawhi Leonard. He knows that already, man. Remember, Kawhi Leonard has went through injury which took him out the entire season. When Zaza Pachulia need him, Zaza Pachulia is dirty. He need him on purpose and took that dude out. Okay? So people got to understand that, man. The Clippers are doing what's best for Kawhi Leonard. They're not going to do Kawhi Leonard like the Spurs did him. And I told y'all why Kawhi Leonard left the Spurs. Because Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker was in Kawhi's head about him not playing well and him trying to um, not trying to fight through the pain. And Kawhi like, no, nah, man, I know my body. If I can't play, I can't play. I don't need y'all in my head. Tell me what I should be and shouldn't be doing when this is supposed to be my team. Right? Now, one thing Shannon Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp said was true is that, yeah, the, a lot of these players do tell these teams what to do. But at the end of the day, man, yeah, the Clippers is Kawhi Leonard's team. But no, the Clippers is just doing right by Kawhi Leonard. Because, again, man, Kawhi Leonard is doing what's best for Kawhi. Kawhi is the one that got to play these 82 games. He got to be in the playoffs, not these fans. Shannon Sharp not going to be out there. That's what y'all got to understand, too. And LeBron, I feel, could have just left that alone, man. LeBron didn't have to add more fuel to the fire. All LeBron James is doing right now is just stirring the pot. That's all he's doing. He's just stirring the pot. He's like I told y'all, man, the Le- Kawhi's already beating LeBron James on open night. That's another thing why LeBron is so pissed off. LeBron does not like the fact that the, like the Clippers beat the Lakers on open night. That's another thing, man. So LeBron James' mindset is focused on beating the um, it's beating the Lakers, it's beating the Clippers, right? LeBron is already mad. He don't like the fact that the uh, Clippers are able to beat him and ran LeBron off that court. The Clippers embarrassed LeBron on opening night for those that seen that game, right? So, again, LeBron is feeling some type of way about it. He's very much pissed off. And, he, and LeBron knows the media are going to gravitate what he says anyway. Because remember, man, and, and, and this is another thing. For those that also watched, uh, watched First Take, it was reported this morning that uh, Doc Rivers, uh, or last night, Doc even uh, even – even responded back to LeBron trying to say that, oh, the Lakers is um the Lakers do what LeBron tells them to do, which is true. Garcia for life ain't been lying to y'all, man. LeBron runs these teams. So that's what that's what Doc Rivers was saying. LeBron tells the Lakers what to do, and they and they um they listen to him. And they follow his, they follow suit. But Shannon Sharp want to make um, Doc Rivers feel guilty about Kawhi Leonard running team. But LeBron and LeBron has been running the team for years, man. That's just what it is. LeBron been running his teams, man. LeBron been doing everything. LeBron has had that much influence. LeBron does what LeBron wants to do on his team. Right? So, again, man, y'all got to understand what this is, man. The only reason why Kawhi Leonard is a villain right now and reason why people hate him is because he chose to sign with the Clippers. Right? I even told y'all about the Toronto Raptors. Alvin Silver wanted him to stay on the Raptors because Alvin Silver wanted to keep going to um, Toronto. He wanted Toronto to go back to France so he can keep going over there and traveling. That's why. That's why um, Adam Silver fined Kawhi Leonard because he was scared that Kawhi Leonard was going to join the Clippers anyway. That's what that was about. I told y'all, man, if, if, if Kawhi would have stayed on the Raptors or if he would have stayed on that Laker team, would nobody be breaking up this, quad, this low management at all? Would nobody be mentioning it? It's a simple fact that he's on the Clippers. The Clippers are second place right now. And the Clippers are a threat to the Lakers reaching the finals. That's what this is coming down to. The fact that Kawhi Leonard is not making LeBron jobs, LeBron James job easy down there. That's what this is really about. The fact that uh, Kawhi decided not to make the Lakers a super team again. Now the media wants to vilify him. Okay. But see, what Le- Kawhi doing is going to pay off in the end because when playoff time comes, Kawhi Leonard is going to be fully healthy. And that's that's what we really need. That's what's rare. That's what counts. That's what's important. Kawhi Leonard knows the Clippers has been dismantled because of injuries. Injuries was helped this team back with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin. Neither one of them could stay healthy a full season. And if I'm not mistaken correctly, didn't Derrick Rose say too that if he had low management that would have saved his career? He would have been tearing his ACL like he did. Derrick Rose even said it. He wished he would have had low management on the arm um, Bulls. Right. Because, and I told y'all this, man, Tom Thibodeau runs teams to the ground. He gives players too many minutes. He be having players like Derrick Rose playing 38, 37 minutes. That's too much. And he don't give enough minutes to the bench. Not like Vin Negro was going to see. When Danny Vin Negro, when Vinny Del Negro had him, Vin Negro was giving everybody playing time. It wasn't just Bing Gordon 
and John John Sammons and uh, Joy Kiddo and Derrick Rose getting all the minutes. He was giving Kurt Heinrich minutes, right? He was giving um he was giving um Drew Gooden. He was giving the other play. He was giving Taj uh not Gibson but uh Tyrese Thomas minutes. He was giving the bench minutes too, equal amount of minutes like he did the starters. Via Dan Negro knew how to balance out the minutes. Um, Tom Tibble didn't know how to do that. So that was the issue there, right? Tom Tibble being a head coach, he couldn't be trusted to you know, be like he didn't know how to manage minutes properly, okay? But again, man, I don't know why people are getting, uh, getting upset with Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard just trying to, uh, trying to survive the whole season. Kawhi Leonard just want to be healthy enough for the playoffs of the championship like it was last year. Because remember, Kawhi Leonard did not play all 82 games with the Raptors. Remember, he had low management last year. That man wasn't playing back-to-back -back games like that. And I understand that people pay a lot of money for these games. Don't get me wrong now. When people pay money in games, they want to see uh, they want to see their stars play. But remember, LeBron used to do the same thing, right? There were games when LeBron did not play at all. I'm like saying when he was on Miami, that man didn't play. Or there wasn't playing games like that. He'd be sitting out, right? Especially when he got towards April. When he got towards April, and then the Cavaliers and Clips, LeBron would not play every game. So let's just let's, let's not let's not act like LeBron James wasn't doing the same thing back. You know what I'm saying? Like eight nine years ago, okay? When he was with the Miami Heat and when he was in Cleveland, even when when he was last with the Cleveland Cavaliers with Kyrie Irving, LeBron James would not play all eighty two games, okay? Because the Cavaliers would clinch their first seed, right? They'll win over 60-some games, and LeBron will be sitting out a lot of those games, especially when they play against teams that are under 500. When they play against a, a Charlotte Hornets or a Bobcats, or when they play against a, a Minnesota Timberwolves, or let's say they play against the Sacramento Kings, LeBron James would not play those games toward the end of the season. I'm talking about April, before the playoffs would start, like late March and April. He, he didn't play all those games. He'd be sitting out, going on the um, bench dancing, right? Let's, let's, just, let's just be honest, man. Let me play with Dillow Mazur. Tim Duncan, Manajomi, and Parker also did that same thing. They would not play all 82 games. Grab Popovich would know that the Spurs have clinched their playoff spot, and they'd be finished, man. He, he'd have them sitting out those games. They wouldn't play all those games. Matter of fact, I remember one year, the, re the main reason why the OKC, uh, I remember what, what was the, uh, the main reason why OKC Thunder didn't even make the playoffs is because San Antonio chose to sit their starters out on purpose and give New Orleans a chance to clinch, Right? Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker set out that one game. This was in 2015. I think this is when Kevin Durant was injured, right? And Westbrook was the bad dude. It was just Westbrook and Baca. The Thunder would have made the playoffs had the um at the Spurs defeated the Pelicans towards that last game. But Grab Popovich chose to bench his starters for low management, right? Thus, the Pelicans beat the Spurs. Thunder are out the playoffs, right? So again, let's let's act like that didn't happen, man. No, people need to get off Kawhi Leonard's head, man. Leave Kawhi Leonard alone. Just like Doc said, we we running the team, we running teams the way we running it, right? You know what I'm saying? We we in charge of this. No, man, I don't like these excuses at all, man. I'm getting tired of it. I really am. And shouts out to Carcino for life, cause he told y'all he been telling people about what LeBron James is doing anyway. And it's coming true. Everything is true, man. I clear, man. I I don't like this at all, man. I don't, man. This is bad, dude. I'm getting sick of tired of this LeBron James. This every time LeBron James throw jabs, man, they don't want to get on LeBron James' case at all. But Kawhi Leonard want to rest. They on his head. No, I don't want. I don't like that because if Kawhi Leonard was playing with LeBron James right now, LeBron James would have nothing negative to say about Kawhi Leonard at all. He wouldn't be bringing up the fact that all oh, I don't got too much time left. So I'm gonna play all these games, and I'm gonna do this for the kids. He wouldn't be bringing none of that up. LeBron would not be bringing up the fact that oh, like, like oh I'm not taking no time off. I'm doing this for my friend. He wouldn't be talking about none of that crap. That's that's BS there, man. I, I don't agree with that at all, right? No, I'm saying I, I'm, I'm serious. If Kawhi Leonard was playing with AD and LeBron right now, they will be allowing Le AD. To, they would be allowing LeBron to sit out. Not even LeBron, but Kawhi. Kawhi will be sitting out games. They would not have him playing all 82 games. They wouldn't need him. They they be making excuses to protect Kawhi Leonard to justify why Kawhi Leonard should sit out, right? Shannon Sharp know he um. Uh, Shannon Sharp knows it too. Shannon Sharp knows he's a hypocrite. He a hypocrite. Brassard, all these, all these analysts are hypocrites when it comes to the Lakers. This is why I choose probably to be a Clipper, right? Y'all see this? I'm a Clipper fan. I'm, I'm, I'm probably a Clipper, dude. I can't cheer for no Lakers. Because when it comes to the Lakers, man, people make every excuses for them. Especially for LeBron James, man. 
a man that, that went three for six in the NBA final. This is what Max Kellerman is talking about, right? The reason why Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith got into an argument because Max Kellerman is tired of Stephen A. Smith making excuses for LeBron, right? Max Kellerman figured, why should LeBron be up there with Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant when those guys played in a tougher league then, right? They were a tough league, and those guys won most of their championships. So Steve A. Smith don't like the fact that Max Cameron is not going along with him with that anymore, man. No, Max Cameron is tired of the excuses. I see what Max Cameron is trying to say. And RB a threat, dude. That's a, I respect RB, but I, I disagree with RB when RB is trying to get on, trying to get on Max Cameron's head when he says that. No, LeBron James can't be great, man. Yeah, he plays up, but that man don't win no champ. That man don't win championships. He loses more championships than he wins. RB. This is what RB and Breakthrough don't understand too, man. And again, I got number of respect for RB and Breakthrough. I ain't trying to beef with this with that man, but that young man needs to understand, man. As good as LeBron James is, that man has lost more NBA championships than he wins. When LeBron James was in the finals the last time he got swept. Okay? So we gotta stop making these excuses for LeBron James, RB. I understand you want the Lakers in the in the playoffs, you want them in the finals, but no, the Clippers is in his way, man. LeBron gonna have to earn that. Okay, man, let's see, let's see, can LeBron knock off the Clippers? Can he knock off Kawhi Leonard, right? They're in the same division, in the same conference, right? Let's see him trying to knock off Westbrook and Harden, man. That's what Matt Carey been saying. Everybody makes so many excuses for LeBron James. Even R.B. Break was making excuses for LeBron in this video, man. No, man, I, I, I get what Mike Kelly is saying. Mike Kelly is tired of excuses. He really is. And Matt Kelly said he's a Laker fan, but he has to acknowledge the fact that Kawhi Leonard is also just as good as LeBron, which he is. Remember, Kawhi Leonard is only... Two for one right now, right? That man won a championship with the Spurs. He lost to LeBron and came back the following year and beat LeBron. He helped the Spurs defeat the Miami Heat, right? Which caused LeBron to jump ship to Cleveland, right? So remember, the Cleveland Cavaliers lost lost to the uh, to the Warriors three times, right? Out of that four times they were um they met. LeBron gets swept, right? He runs and goes to the Lakers. Okay. So let's just let's, let's not act like that didn't happen, right? LeBron does leave teams when he lost championships. He don't stay there and stick it out, right? And I, I remember I was talking to my um, my friend L because I was at choir rehearsal on um, last night, right? And L told me he would respect LeBron more had he he stayed and made it work with the team he had last year. That means had he kept Ingram, Kuzma, had Ingram, Josh Hart, and Lonzo Ball with Kuzma, right? He had kept those guys there, right? With the team they got now, and he would respect them more. But him trading him away and trying to get Anthony Davis, he couldn't respect LeBron for that. And that's why my friend L is no longer a um, Laker fan. And he's been a Laker fan for over 20-some years. Right? He said he can't cheer for LeBron no more because of that. Again, LeBron gets everything he wants to do, man. LeBron gets to do whatever he wants to do. And nobody criticizes that man. But when Kawhi Leonard feels that he wants to set out, he can't play every game because he's trying to protect his knees, right? He trying to protect his legs from getting hurt again. Now that's an issue, man. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna go along with that. I'm not gonna fall along behind that narrative. And I refuse to let people dog Kawhi Leonard out. No, Kawhi, keep doing what you're doing. No, Clippers, keep doing what you're doing because it's working right now. And I'm gonna be doing another video, telling uh, folks what the Clippers need to do to make the roster even stronger going forward. So by the time April comes and they're ready to compete for the playoffs in May, in June, they be able to win a, a championship. Anyways, folks, man, that's the video. I don't, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I just got to get that up my chest, man. I don't like it at all. LeBron James is getting on Kawhi Leonard's head, and the media is just stirring the pot. That's all LeBron James is doing. He's trying to start more beef. He's trying to get in Kawhi Leonard's head mentally, but that's not going to work. I'll tell you all this, man. LeBron, including Steve, uh, Chris Bouchard and Shannon Sharp, Steve Smith, they mad at the fact Kawhi Leonard didn't join the Lakers. If Kawhi Leonard was on the Lakers, they would not be talking about load management at all, right? They were making every excuse why Kawhi Leonard should stay rested, right? They, they, all they'll say is we don't need Kawhi Leonard to play every game. He can sit out. He don't have to play back-to-back -back games. We have AD. All right, we got LeBron. We got enough pieces right there. We got our, we already got our big three. We good, right? They'll be, they'll be saying this. Everybody, everybody's mom and daddy has a Laker fan to be making excuses for Kawhi Leonard and not playing every game. Or they'll break up the fact that, oh, he got knee by Zaza Pachulia, so he trying to keep that same knee healthy. That's what they'll be saying. If Kawhi Leonard was a Laker right now, they'd be making every excuse why he should be sitting down. But uh, instead, this man chose the Clippers. He wants to win the Clippers a championship, do what he did for the Raptors. Now that's an issue, right? No, I'm not going along with that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, no, that, that, that's complete bogus, man. That's ass of none talk, man. Oh, no. Ain't hell no. Mm -mm. That's not happening with me. I'm not going to tolerate that. I'm not going to have that. I'm not going along with that with those excuses. That BS, man. And that's why Matt Caravan and Steve A. Smith Got into a, a heated debate 
last or yesterday because Max Kelman is tired of the excuses. These analysts make every, all the excuses of the world for LeBron James. Every time he gets injured, oh, he didn't win, he didn't sell. Because even last year, right, the Lakers did not make the playoffs, and the Clippers did not have as good as a team. The Lakers had all those players, they still missed the playoffs. Oh, he's injured. Why we didn't make the playoffs? It's excuses. Every is excuses. I'm not, I'm not having that no more, man. No. Mm-mm. Man, folks, that's the video, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Like, subscribe, comment, man. Shouts out to all my subscribers. I thank y'all so much for being a part of the channel. Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.